I'm Costa from Car Focus and today I'm looking at the Ford F-150. The Ford F-150 has recently arrived in Australia and it comes in two different versions, the XLT and the Lariat. Before we get too far into it, we do cover quite a lot in these videos. So if there's something specific you want to know about this car, look in the description below and skip to the chapter that interests you. The Ford F-150 is remanufactured here in Australia by Ford Australia and it's pretty much the only place you're going to find a right-hand version of one of these cars. F-150 comes in two different variants, the XLT and the Lariat. There's also two different wheelbases that you can set it up with, a short wheelbase or a long wheelbase. This brings a total number of configurations to four in Australia. The Lariat is the top spec level of the F-150 in Australia currently, and it comes in six different color options, white, black, silver, red, blue and grey. The red is only available in the Lariat. Australia is also the only country that remanufactures these vehicles into right-hand drive and for that reason well into 2024 the F-150 here in Australia will be the equivalent 2023 model from the US spec car. F-150 key comes it's the standard Ranger key but it's got some extra buttons on it so it's got the normal lock and lock button. It's also got the double tap to remote start the vehicle, the double tap to open and close the rear tailgate. This last button is your car finder. A single press on this will get the hooter going and to get it to stop you've got to press the button a second time. Okay. Lastly it's also got the manual key that's stowed away inside the key fob. Moving to the front of the vehicle, you got LED headlights with daytime running lights, you got automatic headlights and you got automatic high beam assist. You get LED front fog lights, front park sensors, recovery points. Prominent front grill with big air intakes, 360 camera and all your radars for front cruise and smart cruise assist front pre-collision warning sensors and the 75 years of F-Truck logo on the front windscreen. Gas struts. F-150 is powered by a 3.5 litre EcoBoost twin turbo V6 engine that produces 298 kilowatts of power and is matted to an electric 10-speed automatic transmission. It produces 678 newton meters of torque and comes standard with a long-range fuel tank that gives the car a total fuel capacity of 136 litres. On a published combined cycle of 12.5 litres per 100, the truck gets a calculated range of 1,088 kilometres. It's important to keep the extended tank in mind when comparing the payload of the F-150 to its competitors, as the extra fuel does reduce its payload weight. Moving to the side of the vehicle, you get a 20-inch aluminium finished alloy wheel with Pirelli tires. The color-coded guard is styled into the side panel and also has this little flap that sticks out just there. F-150 Lariat badging with air outlets. Aluminium finish on the mirror caps with the sign mounted indicators. It also gets 360 camera and blind spot detection with trailer compensation. You get chrome handles with proximity button for release. On the passenger door, you get this code pad and you get a secret code for your F-150 which allows you to unlock this door without the key. Dual finish side step with a bit of chrome and black and the Ford logo embossed on the step right there. You get a curved finish to the front doors to give you better visibility which ties into the black pillars that joins the two windows and the privacy glass for the back. The 3.5 litre petrol engine takes ethanol, E10 ethanol fuel here in Australia and comes with Ford's Easy Fuel inlet. The GVM payload and overall length of the trucks vary according to the version while towing capacity remains standard across the range at five and a half tons. Moving to the back of the vehicle you get your tailgate release it looks like a handle but it's actually a button just underneath there you get your 360 camera and you also get a second camera here which is for hitching the trailer, gives you a straight down view. You get the prominent Ford badge and the embossed F-150 running through the tailgate. You get a multi-pin connector over there. This is for your, to release your spare wheel. 
two different tow balls that can be fitted to the F-150, your standard one or this heavy duty four and a half ton tow ball. You also get a 12 pin connector for your trailer. Similar to the Ranger, this tailgate on the F-150 is designed to be a bit of a workbench. It's got these markings over here that let you measure distances. It's got these clamps sections just over there. And because it is a big truck and not that easy to get in and out of, it also has this hidden step that releases from inside this rear tailgate. Clips out and then from here you release the handle, lock it into place like that and you've got a nice easy step for climbing in and out of the back of the truck. In the load body you've got a 12 volt power point, you've got these little LED lights that you can switch on and off from here and you've also got these little hooks that you can tie things down from. You get four of these all throughout the cabin. These are locked in place and with the key you can unlock them, unclip them and remove them if you don't want them there. You also get a spray in bed liner and the Ford logo embossed on the back here. The length of the load box on the short wheelbase is 1,662 mils and 1,962 mil on the long wheelbase. So a difference of 300 mils or 30 centimeters. You get two tub lights just there with the rear high mounted stop light. You got a window that opens up into the cabin. Your privacy glass continues onto the back of the glass and you also get rear demisters for this window. Cool. Moving to the rear of the vehicle, in the passenger door you get a cup holder, your electric window, you get a storage compartment underneath the handle, your Bang & Olufsen sound system, more storage space, a bottle holder and another little pocket for storage. You get this plastic finish on the door that imitates denim in its texture. The truck does give you a massive amount of leg room at the back. You get the map pockets, two cup holders for the back passengers, rear air vents as well as rear heated seats a 12 volt power point and just below that an additional USB-A and USB-C charge ports. Your leather seats at the back perforated for the outer seats non-perforated on the inner with an armrest in the center and two additional cup holders. You also get a full panoramic sunroof with sunshade, electric sunshade and the front half can open. The seat folds up like this and locks into place. It's now locked in place there. Once you fold up both the seats you get this incredibly big loading area flat so that you can load big items in the back here and keep them out of the weather. You can also if you want to modulate this space you can lift this up clip these into place by sliding this guy in there and locks and then you get this little storage box area so you can store smaller items and not have them flying around. You also get this little compartment here that swings out and locks into place, allowing for further customization of this load area. To stow it away, you simply unclick both sides and let it drop back into place. Your seats will then fold back down and clip away. Oh, you see, you can have it up. This just lies here, it doesn't lock. Does this not? You got central locking with three position memory seats, electric folding heated side view mirrors, along with all your electric one touch operation for front two and normal electric windows at the back. Similar to the rear door, you get your Bang & Olufsen speakers, you get more storage spaces, as well as cup holders and bottle holders and more storage compartments running all the way through the door. The Ford logo embossed on the side of the seat with this chrome finish running through there. Electric seats, 
power and lumbar support also electric. You've got electrically adjustable pedals that you can bring them closer to you. Electric park brake, rear stat switch for front dash, your headlight switch as well as your cabin light switch, your tailgate electronic open and close release button. The Lariat comes with a 12 inch instrument, digital instrument cluster gives you your RPMs on the left and speedometer on the right. You've also got the little dials at the top for temperature, water temperature, oil temperature, engine temperature and your fuel gauge. You also have a fully customizable MyView option along with the standard trip computers, uh, towing setups and the rest of the menus that you can scroll through. Just there, your navigation, your phone, audio as well as settings. This center computer is controlled via this steering wheel mounted control panel with the back up OK for selection and the menu button operation all off your steering wheel. The different drive modes are operated from this controller over here by sliding it around and as you slide it you flip from normal and if you go right you go to slippery you go to deep snow and sand and finally mud and ruts and if you scroll it back to the left you get back to normal and if you keep going left you get your tow haul mode your eco mode and your sport mode your steering wheel has your smart cruise settings here for on and off your lane keeps assist systems as well as your cruise control operation and distance setting your volume controls and your assistant on sync 4 you can activate your assistant from there the car is also equipped with electric an electrically adjustable height and reach for the steering wheel using this little controller just there allowing you to move the steering wheel charge points USB A and C 12 volt charge point this button here releases the glove box the top glove box and then the bottom glove box more traditional release plus this one can lock rolling you get a storage space here for the for the passenger and electric seats as well you get a storage space at the top here with a non-slip mat center bang and olufsen speaker you get your camera button park button hazard warnings and ESP on and off button just there. F-150 is equipped with a pro trailer controller with a four and a half ton towing capacity chances are you're going to be towing big things and with that you want to be able to reverse with confidence. The pro trailer controller allows you to reverse and steer the vehicle using this controller so you don't actually use your steering wheel at all you literally put it into reverse and you steer left and right using the pro trailer controller and it'll automatically take the car in the direction that you want it to go. You've got your volume controllers, your tuning button, so this is really your radio controller there and at the bottom here is your aircon controller. It's got dual zone aircon, it's got all the usual max aircon, aircon buttons, auto aircon buttons, you've also got your cooling and heated seats and this little dialer here is for your fan speeds up and down. So lots of nice analog tactile switches going on just there a storage compartment there that can open and close and give you more storage space at the top once opened you get access to your wireless charger as well as an additional USB A and USB C charge point you've actually got a lot of storage down here as well your gear lever can actually be retracted and stowed away using that button just there as well as your gear positions, your two cup holders with spring-loaded hooks. Just there you got your brake controller, your electric brake controller with your pin pinch function, so you can pinch that to manually brake your trailer or you can set the gain using the plus and the minus. This is your drive mode controller that we've covered off on, but in addition to that it's surrounded by these four buttons for four automatic, four low, 4 high and 2 high. 
Your 12 inch digital display for the center console is actually a split screen. So just running down this line here, you get a small section of the screen and the main section of the screen. On the main section, you can set your audio. You can click over to your phone. You can flip over to navigation and you basically control what you wanna see on the big screen using these bottom buttons just there. If you wanna control what you're seeing on this little screen, you can use these arrows here and you can access zone lighting as an example. You can go into your off-road um, um, degree readouts. You can pull up your eco behavior and as you keep scrolling, it keeps giving you more and more menu options on this little small screen just there. If you press that button over there, you can also scroll through the options for this smaller screen and select the one that you want. On the main screen, this is a more traditional screen and operates much like most of the other Ford screens that you would see on, on the rest of Ford vehicles. So you can access um, audio. You can also go into apps and set up Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. In the settings button, you can set up and, and set your parameters for the rest of your menus. And you can also scroll through the menus. And then in the features section, you can access driver assist aids zone lighting and towing so once you're going to driver assist you can also tweak your cruise control your speed limiters and all sorts of other options that you can adjust from here to keep it simple at any given stage if you want to understand what any of these do you just press the i button and it will bring up a little information screen and explain what that feature does and how to use it once you hit this camera button at the top it brings up your camera angles and you've also got a drop down menu there which allows you to select how you want your cameras to prioritize your view and show you whatever it is that you want to see. In the 360 view, you can also bring up this menu, which then allows you to focus in on a space specific corner of the vehicle. If there's something that you want to have a closer look at, you can also zoom back out and zoom back into another section of the car. At the top here, you have your cabin lights, you also have your sunroof control as well as your sunroof shade controller. You also operate that small little back window just there, like a little electric window operator switch. And then here you have your sunglass holder. The center armrest is multifunctional. You can release a switch back here, which allows it to fold forward and give you a complete flat loading area. They call it the little office inside your car. You can load your laptop or if you want you can even stop and have lunch and use it as a table to eat on. It then folds away and using a separate release button there folds up. Once it's folded up you get this massive storage space underneath here. You've got this portable little tray that can slide this way but can also be removed if you don't need it. And we're re revealing this incredibly large storage area in here with a non-slip mat at the bottom. Inside the storage compartment, you've also got a USB-A and a USB-C charge port. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. If there's any other car you'd like us to do a walkthrough on, leave that in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.